Welcome back to another video. My name is Erica if you're new. Thank you so much for clicking on this video Today is a Monday and we're gonna get it all done today. It is the end of a wonderful weekend Marion and I had three days Jackson was on a three-day field trip. He went to um, Kentucky to the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter It's an amazing place if you've never been we went for his I think we were there on his eighth birthday and it was amazing and they go every year the freshman class goes so he just got back from that and so when he was gone Marion and I had like three days and we took advantage of just being together we went out and you know went shopping and went to the movies went to dinner and it was just it was wonderful but I kind of need to get things caught up around here today so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing I thought if I pick up my camera it will motivate me to get some stuff done I'm also going to be sharing a grocery haul and a Sam's Club haul and then just a small haul of a few of the things that we picked up at the mall we did get a few Christmas presents which I won't be showing in this video but I'll show you the other things that we got and I'm gonna be sharing a recipe with you it's kind of similar to stuff I've made before but it's a different recipe and I thought I would try it I love potatoes they're like <laughs> they're like my top favorite food and it's a crock pot potato kind of like a scallop potato with beef and cheese and onion it sounds good so I'm gonna be making that in a little while it says to put it on high so I'm not gonna do it too early because it's only cooks for four hours so I'm gonna wait a little while but I've got a lot of stuff to do around here a lot of cleaning to do it doesn't look too bad but I definitely need to do my floors and my couch things like that so I've also got a load of laundry finished I need to switch that over it's just gonna be one of those days that we're gonna get all the things done I also really need to bathe my dogs and give Bella a haircut and deep clean my bathroom. I also have family that just flew in today this morning so I'm sure in between all that I'll be visiting a little while with them so you know it's gonna be a very full day so I hope that you are needing some motivation because this is gonna give it to you if you need to get up get your space cleaned or if you just want to hang out for a little while so I'm going to go ahead and clean off my couch and vacuum my floors I've got a long list of things to do maybe I'll share my list with you but um, first things first we're gonna get the living room cleaned up and the couch cleaned off if you've watched any of my cleaning videos within the last year or so you've seen me use my pet hair roller and let me tell you this is a game changer I used to say that my broom was my favorite cleaning tool it is it's definitely it is this if you own pets if they live in your home you need one of these trust me you need one it will change your cleaning routine like I never knew how much hair I could get up how much hair I was missing I wasn't getting up until I got one of these and I've had several of these and let me tell you they are not all created equal <laughs> they are not today I'm gonna to be sharing this one with you obviously it is purple they come in blue pink purple and I believe white as well but I chose the purple one because how cute is that <laughs> How pretty is the purple one? I mean, it's so pretty. So let's go ahead and get the couch cleaned off. I'm going to show you how amazing this thing is. So this is my couch. If you watch my videos, you know that this is new to me. I recently got it and I, I my dogs love this couch. Cats don't really get up here very often, but the dogs like lay on this all the time. This pet roller has literally been a game changer as far as keeping my couch clean. So all of these cushions come off the bottom ones and the top ones and all the pillowcases they all come off and I can wash them to keep it fresh but um, you can't really tell when on this couch my old couch you could really tell you could see the hair just sitting on top this one you can't really tell so it would be easy to think oh the couch is totally clean I don't need to worry about it but I'm going to show you how much hair we will get up off this couch that we don't even see that we didn't even know was here it's also great on pillows these red pillows they attract hair so I will show you how you can clean really any fabric with these pet hair rollers so here's a look at the pillow you can see some of the hairs on here so this is a look at the lint roller before we roll the couch this is it's empty so I'm going to show you how much hair this is going to pick up 
So I like to use this pet roller on my pillows as well as the couch. It's also great for clothes, any kind of fabric really. You can use it on carpets. Um, it does pick up pet hair, cat hair, dog hair, but it also picks up lint, fuzz, anything that you have that's stuck to the fabric and it's so great because it doesn't use any kind of sticky tape that you have to constantly peel off and throw away. It doesn't use batteries so you can keep these all over your house. You can keep them anywhere in your office. And just grab it. It's super convenient. It's also very durable. This little roller this one in particular is the best one that I have owned I have owned several of them this one is definitely the strongest and most durable I can tell it's also obviously reusable it has an ergonomic shape which is really great too makes it super user friendly it's also very easy to clean you can just empty it out I'll show you in a minute how to empty it you can also run it under water and if you want to clean the entire thing really well and just let it air dry and then it's good as new so definitely check that link down below if you would like to get one of these. I definitely recommend them. I cannot recommend them enough for anyone really, but especially you pet owners. I cannot recommend this enough. It will change the way that you clean. All right, you guys, the proof, it's in here. We're gonna check out how much we got up after one roll across my couch and my pillows. It's probably been about three days since I did it really good, so that gives you an idea of how much hair gets on my couch. Um, this is something that I generally will use every day or every other day. It just It's just a real quick cleanup, but I wanted to give you a close-up of it. This is the, um, this is what the, the roller looks like. It's, it's a real soft material and it, it turns like this and these little grippy things right here they're like a good like rubbery material that pulls the hair in it has little rollers on both sides to help it roll easily it's super super user friendly and amazing you don't need any kind of sticky tape you don't need any batteries and so it's you know good for the environment you're not tearing off those sticky strips and throwing them in the trash can you can take this with you in your car keep one in your car keep one in your bedroom keep one in your living room I'm telling you, this is a game changer. So let's check out how much hair we actually picked up off my couch. I'm kind of scared. So you just push that little button, it pops open. Holy moly. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. See how easy it is to clean it out, to pull it out of the little chamber. Oh my gosh. That, you guys. That is insane. There is the proof it speaks for itself. If you have pets in your life, you need one of these Delomo pet rollers. If you don't have pets and you know someone who does, we all know someone who's got pets, even if we don't, Christmas is coming up. They will love you for this. It is literally worth every penny multiple times over. This is my new favorite cleaning tool. So make sure to check the Delomo link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission if you do purchase one, but I'm telling you guys, it will change your life. We have pink, blue, purple, and I believe white, so everyone can find one that they love. So I am going to vacuum now, and the new couch that we got, this, the dogs like love to lay on the top, you know, they love to look at the window, but the cushions are not connected to the couch, so they fall a lot, and I'm always having to fix them and tell them, come on, you can jump back up here. I feel bad because they don't really like like it as much as the other one, but they're getting used to it. But also, a lot of you ask me, where are your dogs when you're vacuuming? I'm missing them attack the vacuum, but I, I put them up now pretty much every time just because they would attack it so much. Like Oliver especially would try to bite the vacuum, and I was always afraid that he was going to hurt his teeth or hurt his face or it was going to hit him because he gets so into it. So um, I just put them up now instead of having them out when I'm vacuuming. It just makes my job a lot easier and it makes sure that they're not hurt.
So if you saw my Christmas home tour, you might have noticed that I did get a slip cover for this chair and you can see it doesn't match perfectly. So now we have, you know, still have three different colors here. The, the bottom line is I love the chair. I love that it swivels and that it rocks. So when I'm babysitting my granddaughter, you know, it's great for that. I really love it. So I just don't want to get rid of it, but um, I got to do something because it's not matching. And I have like so many shades of green and gray in this room that like I'm needing to break it up a little bit. So I've already been thinking that for a while. Like now that I have the gray couch, the gray rug, the green walls, like obviously that is the color scheme I love, but I need to break it up a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. But as far as the chair and the ottoman, I need to make a decision, but you know, that's not top priority right now. So you may be seeing those two in my videos. And anyway, for those of you who've commented, for those of you who have mentioned, thought I'd give you a little update on that. So I thought I would share my to-do list with you today. I have I did make a list because I want to make sure that I remember everything. So I needed to obviously clean the, the living room, vacuum, clean my couch off. I have to put my bedding and Jackson's bedding in the laundry. I want to get that washed today. I did over the weekend when Marion and I went out, we did some grocery shopping and some other shopping. Those got messed up. And I want to share those hauls with you. So those will be coming up. I've also got a crock pot meal. I need to clean my kitchen, keep working on the laundry, bathe the dogs, cut Belle's hair, cut her nails, deep clean my bathroom. So yeah, that is my daily to-do list. So, and I did kind of put them in order. So right at what I'm going to do now, strip the beds, switch out the laundry, keep that going because that's one thing that's going to be going all day long. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and get my crock pot meal prepared because it's going to take a little while to get it ready and in the crock pot. I'm trying to get a little bit away from the washer and dryer. You can hear them, they're both going on. Before I share my crock pot recipe with you, I'm gonna go ahead and share my grocery haul. So it's two week grocery haul from Walmart and then also some stuff from Sam's and a few things we picked up at the mall. We went to Sam's and we went to the mall um, and a lot of the places have already, it's currently the Friday before Thanksgiving. So they've already started their Black Friday deals. A lot of them started them today. That was awesome. So. We did go to Sam's. I'll give you a Sam's haul, but did pick up a couple things. We went to Penny's. I've been looking for like a oversized, what is this called? Like denim shirt, but lightweight. And this was $44 at Penny's, but it was on sale for $12.99 with the Black Friday sale. So I got that for me. It is 100% cotton. I'm thinking it's probably going to shrink a little bit. So I got a little bit oversized. And then where did we go? TJ Maxx. I got a few. I got some Christ a couple Christmas presents, so I won't show you, but I did pick up this Shea Moisture coconut milk daily hydration conditioner virgin 100% virgin coconut oil um 12.99 is an, that's a really good price also got my favorite blowfish shoes i have been looking everywhere for this exact one i have these but it's been like a year or two and they are, i've washed them so many times i just needed an, a new pair these are my favorite brand of shoes and i always find them at tj maxx and ross they're 19.99 can also get them online i have got them online too but love these shoes they fit so good they're so comfortable you don't have to tie them and then we went to bath and body works all their candles were 14.95 which is still crazy expensive but this woman gave me a coupon when we were in there so it was only 11. so we got one of these for 11 and one for 14.95 my all-time favorite christmas scent 
from Bath and Body Works is the Marshmallow Fireside. I think it's a lot of people's favorite, but I only burn it at Christmas. It just reminds me of Christmas, and I have one that's got about that much in it, so I was really using it sparingly, and now I have a whole new one, so that's awesome. And then my favorite scent to smell after or to burn after Christmas before like during the winter is their coffee scents and this one is different freshly brewed coffee every year they have one but it's always named something different Paris Cafe used to be my favorite but the um, and it is still my favorite scent but they don't make that anymore but they this one is so very similar it smells almost like like a dark roast Marion drinks like super dark roast and I love my whole house to smell like coffee it smells like a starbucks but i only burn it during the winter they had their wallflowers for buy two get two so they were four dollars a piece which is pretty pretty good um for for the wallflowers so i got tis the season a spiced gingerbread that's gonna be fun and then we got two marshmallow fireside one will be upstairs one downstairs because those are the best i'll do those like through christmas let me show you what i got from sam's we did get uh, Marion's Bubbly. It's a better deal there. You get 24 cans for like $10. Um, these salsa chips. We got these again. I got these. I wanted to get them last time, but I didn't. They are 9 grams of fat. I'm um, 9 grams of sugar for 2.5 cups, I think. They're a hot cocoa flavor, limited time. So I thought I would get them. That'd be fun to... Hopefully they're good. It'd be a fun snack. This is Marion's all-time favorite pie and they only sell it's seasonal so I think it used to be eight dollars and now it's nine dollars but it's a french silk pie this is so good y'all this is so good and it's so big but we always have to grab them at christmas time because they are the best and then a big old thing of club crackers i really love these dark chocolate keto clusters really good and pretty healthy snack they have all these things in them quinoa pumpkin sunflower seeds pecans and almonds and they're covered in dark chocolate it's only three grams of sugar per serving they are really good and addicting too and then of course marion and jackson love the big texas cinnamon rolls all right it is saturday now and i just got back from walmart i didn't get as much as usual because i have like five dinners already i think four or five dinners here already about this stuff for them also we have thanksgiving and also we're going to go out of town for a couple days so um, it's not as much as usual, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. I did get a couple things for Thanksgiving, but not a lot. I'm going to be going back in a few days to get that. I was just too overwhelmed and didn't have my list completely ready. So this is just regular groceries, but I did get a few things for Thanksgiving. So I got um, a small thing of medium cheddar and then a large thing of it. Some sliced provolone. I'm going to have meatloaf and mashed potatoes one night. So I got some uh, Bob Evans because that's just going to make it easy that night. And then I got two of these ground beef. And then I went ahead and bought the turkey. I like to do the turkey breast. It's more expensive this way, but it's these are so, so, so good. And um, very simple to make. So, And I didn't want to risk not finding one. So I got this. It was $18.12. So um, I'm going to go back and get some more meat. But I went ahead and grabbed that for Thanksgiving. I got two of these turkey kielbasa. I'm going to make uh, barbecue, just slice them up with some barbecue sauce in the crock pot. That's um, something everybody likes. Got some corn. Marion wanted some of these chicken wings with Asian style seven spice dry rub. Put those in the air fryer. And then some chicken strips. I'm going to be making like a taco Mexican soup. So I needed some petite diced tomatoes, some black beans, and then some, <gasps> that's tomato sauce. That's not what I needed shoot <laughs> i needed tomato puree i thought that's what i grabbed i'm gonna have to take that back um then i needed some cream of chicken i needed some more garlic i love these big huge things of minced garlic i needed some more cooking spray and canola oil some barbecue sauce these are for the soup i usually will just use the better than bouillon but this was just going to make it a lot easier i needed so much and they were only a dollar so i got two beef broths some pasta i just grabbed one of these i don't know who will eat them if anyone i, I was actually going to probably just put them out if anybody wants to eat them but they're cute you know in like for like decor <laughs> this time of year um i haven't heard of these before golden honey mini wheats i love mini wheats so i wanted to try that new new flavor um i guess it's new new to me i got a bunch of stick butter because of baking and stuff and thanksgiving and then just another tub of butter some rice some oreo thins lemon flavor i got these because jackson loves 
uh, lemon, anything lemon, so I thought I'd give, get him those. Got Marion some more of his tuna and Jackson's drink boxes. I got, I I've been really wanting some hot cocoa with like peppermint. I don't know why, but just I've been wanting it. So I found the no sugar added. We're going to try this and see if it's any good. And then I got this for a movie snack. Madison, Elena, and I are going to go to a movie tomorrow. So I got that. Marion's blueberry pop tarts. We got some flour back there. And then I saw this and it says pumpkin pie flavored cookie kit. But this is like a royal icing, which is so my favorite thing. Then I got some produce over here. Some potatoes, some apples, cilantro. I can't remember what all I'm, I'm going to be making some baked potatoes. I got green onions, some bananas, grapes. They actually had grapes that looked halfway decent this time. I got a white onion and then I found this peppermint whipped cream for the top of my hot cocoa. So this is not zero sugar, but this with the hot cocoa. Oh, that just sounds so good right now. I really wanted the big tub of bluebell peppermint ice cream, but I resisted for now for now. I'll probably get it in December. Um, then I got a half gallon of milk and some bagels. There's my bags. Claire's always loved my bags. And then a few non-food. I just leave the animal food in the bags when I show you all my grocery haul because it's just easier to take these in the pantry. But dog food, cat food, and then um, we've tried so many things with Claire, but this is what we I've been getting her for a while now. She'll eat like sometimes two of these a day. So that makes me happy when she eats that much because she needs every drop that she could get. But um, I did just buy a big, big one at Kroger with like 18 of them. But I got a few more just to make sure we have enough. Got some more of my dogs, dog treats. Some more Emeprazole, Emeprazole. Marion loves these uh, Listerine. Got some dish soap. And then I've been, I've used Suave hairspray. I like the non-aerosol. I've used it for, I don't even know, 20 years or something, but I cannot find it. I've looked at so many stores for like a month and I cannot find it. So I went ahead and just bought this because I have to have my hairspray. And then down here, just my big stuff. Got some dry cat food, some paper towels, cat litter because I didn't have that at Sam's, some water bottles, and some vanilla Coke. All right, so we are going to get dinner ready in the crock pot. This is called Slow Cooker Beef and Potato Au Gratin. I will link it down below. It is a recipe I found on Pinterest. Super easy, you just kind of cook your beef. Um, you're gonna slice your potatoes, shred your cheese, and then just gonna layer it all together in a crock pot. I did put some garlic, salt, and pepper on my ground beef, and I'm cooking this first, and then I'm gonna use my vegetable chopper that I got from Timu. I've actually never used this, the blade that had like bigger squares than this, like the main chopping blade, when I assembled it and tried to use it the first time. I put it in wrong and so I literally broke the blade so I have not used it so we're gonna figure this out though because I need to use like a mandolin and I think that I can one of these blades <laughs> I think it's like a mandolin So we're going to go ahead and layer everything in that little mandolin. It worked perfectly for the potatoes. It says seven cups sliced. I don't know how much this is. We're just going to go with it. Um, I'm just eyeballing it. It says three cups of cheddar. That is a mountain of cheddar. I think that's too much, but we'll just use some of it. And then I have almost a whole white onion diced up. It says thinly sliced, but I like it diced better. I have a little over a half a cup of beef broth. And then my seasonings are garlic powder, paprika, pepper, salt, and parsley flakes. We're gonna combine all that together and pour over the potatoes. And then of course I have a pound of ground beef.
All right, it is 1.37, so it says four hours and do not lift the lid because it'll delay the cooking time a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cook for four hours and hopefully, hopefully it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. Hopefully those potatoes will cook. I did them really thin, so I think it should be, I think it should be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this mess all cleaned up now in the kitchen so that tonight dinner will be ready and the kitchen will be clean. it's time to bathe the dogs I'm gonna use these to clip Belle's nails and then trim her if you've seen me do it before you know I'm not a professional dog groomer but she does look a little bit better I'm gonna to try to trim the hair around Ollie's eyes too he does not like me to do it for some reason he lets the groomer do it but he will not let me do it and then I still have this lavender shampoo lavender scented I got it at Ross um, the brand is tail and paws. I'm going to use that with my gloves. I love using these to bathe them. So we're going to go ahead and get Belle in here first and get her trimmed up. Come here, sweet girl. Come on. You're such a good girl. Drive along in December rain to play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck. I'm and longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may stop a light But together we're alright You All the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah look When we were small Someone's been here and there the stock is wrong Christmas 
Sister stopped by and Patrick stopped by. He hey, got, he got some brand new oh, vans. Check. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Green vans. Green I van. did not realize Christmas green. That's perfect. <laughs> he, it was a gift he just received. So he's super, super excited. Totally Patrick pumped. loves shoes and he also loves the movie Elf. They remind me of oh, they see? remind me of Elf. And, How um, fun is that, y'all? He reminds me of Elf. So fun. Name? Will Ferrell. Yeah, I Will say that Ferrell. every year. Speaking of, True. it is at the theater now. We need to see that. Oh, yes. Anyway, we visited for a little while, but I'm going to... My food is smelling so good. I still have a little, like another hour, over an hour to let it cook, but it's looking good. But I'm going to go ahead and get my bedding out, make the beds back up, be done with that. Checking things off my list. It's 5.45, I put this in at 1.37, so it's been four hours. I've not lifted the lid yet, but it definitely looks like it is done. The cheese is a 
nice golden. Um, I'm gonna stick a knife, like a sharp knife down in the center and see if I can tell if the potatoes are done. If they're not, I'm gonna go ahead and cook it for another half hour to an hour. that oh my goodness it smells as good as it looks <laughs> that is comfort food at its finest this flavor is so good oh my gosh and the thin sliced potatoes oh so good I am definitely gonna sit down and enjoy this it is a cold night tonight we have a cold front coming through where it's supposed to be like two to three inches of rain tomorrow which is good because we're in a severe drought which is crazy because we always get rain but we haven't in a while and there's a huge wildfire not too far from here they've canceled schools and there's like the air quality has been horrible we're under like terrible air quality alerts but Hopefully that will go a long way in putting the fire out. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a cold and wet day tomorrow. So anyway, Thanksgiving is this week. Still got a lot to do. So uh, I'll be vlogging more this week, but thank you for coming back, hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to click the link down below if you'd like to get your own Delomo pet hair remover. It will change your life, I'm telling you. If you or someone you know has a dog or a cat that lives inside, they need one, I'm telling you you will thank me so click that link and get you one get you two get you three give them as gifts that's what i'm gonna do so anyway i love you all and i will see you in my next video Bye bye